Hey guys, in this exercise demo, we are going to introduce the TVA, the transverse abdominals, and how to set the core, and a great exercise with some progressions to utilize the TVA. Now before we even get started, I want to talk about proper TVA activation. We're going to talk about baby belly, and no, not the actual impregnated baby belly. What happens when this becomes weak, and what happens when we have that anterior pelvic tilt? So let's start off with just a weak TVA, and what happens? That TVA that comes across here will help bring that stomach in. Now, weak TVAs usually result in what I call the baby belly. Give me a baby belly. This is Sarah now just relaxing everything. That stomach starts to protrude. Now this would make a great before and after picture. Before working with Joe, baby belly. Anterior pelvic tilt. After working with Joe, oh my God, look at the results. Just kidding. So what we want to focus on right now is proper positioning of the pelvis and proper activation of the TVA. Now a lot of people, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit of, maybe out of line, but you're like, oh shocker. All the people on the Instagram, all the girls showing your progress, your hamstring progress and your glute progress, really how many of you are stuck in this position? And the problem with this position is that A, everything through here is going to deactivate. It's also gonna be very hard for you to activate your core. So start learning how to actually get that pelvis into proper positioning. And in some of our assessment videos, we talked about that ASIS and that PSIS being in line. Now these are good pants for you to see. When we go into anterior pelvic tilt, other way, look at the angle right now of this line. And so when you're working with clients that come in in that position, make sure we start working on proper posterior pelvic tilt, lining up that pelvis properly. Once we have that, we can start working on some TVA activation. The best way of doing this, now some people go excessive. So baby belly, not good. Just give me a vacuum like you did before. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. This is also not proper TVA activation. You can do this and you know what, this is still not activated. So you don't feel tightness through here, you're just drawing in that stomach. What I want you to imagine is we're gonna take this through here, we want to take that to draw in the belly button and then tighten and squeeze. So we're going to draw in slightly, give me a cough, and then hold that squeeze. That's going to be our proper TVA activation when we do some of our exercises that incorporate this muscle to actually be engaged. So when you're in a plank, when you're in the quadruped position doing some of our, um, some of our exercises that we're going to do in a second here, we want to make sure that we have not anterior pelvic tilt, but we have a nice neutral pelvic alignment. We're not just sucking in the belly button, give me the suck in vacuum. We're not doing that with the rib cage lifting up. We don't have baby belly. <laughs> we have proper draw in that stomach, cough and squeeze the abs. This is the proper position I want you to start with when we do our next exercise here, the quadruped or the bird dog as some people know it by. So let's get into a quadruped position. We're gonna have knees in line with the hips, shoulders in line with the, her hands in line with the shoulders. Knees just a little bit wider for me. Good. Now in this position, we can also get into improper pelvic rotation. So give me an improper pelvic rotation. I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see that lumbar spine going into um, hyperextension. I want proper positioning of the pelvis. I don't want baby belly. I don't want this to sag down. I want proper TVA activation. Now we're gonna do three different versions of this exercise. Each one will build on the other. The first one that we're gonna do is just the arm extending out. So proper TVA activation, slowly extend one arm. Nothing through here moves. Slowly come back. And what I'm gonna be watching for here is baby belly, and any rotation of the pelvis. Do all that switch arms. So abs tight, arms come up nice and slow and there's zero movement going on here. Now let's look at the comparison. So do me a favor, Sarah, give me baby belly and just relax through here. Now slowly lift one arm up. <laughs> How hard is that for you to stabilize? Hard. You see her entire body fall. When I see people doing this exercise, I see people just shooting their arms and their legs out, not really understanding what they're doing this for. We want to engage through here first, 
And all we're doing is creating a long lever to try and take our body out of alignment or center of gravity. This will activate to prevent us from moving, hence the TVA activating. So step number one is just getting used to opposite arms coming forward. Step number two now is we're gonna integrate the legs. So we're gonna keep the arms right where they are. Head is in perfect positioning. Shoulders are great. Pelvis is good. Neutral alignment. I want you to activate, so no baby belly. Good, tightness through the TVA. Slowly slide one knee back. Good, now in this position, imagine lifting that toe towards your shin like this, and push the heel towards the mirror behind you. Good, now watch that rotation, watch that rotation, come up a little bit, there we go. Now slowly bring that knee forward, and you should start dragging that knee along. Good, now switch sides. Now what's interesting is you know when they're cheating, if they switch sides and there's any shift or movement through here, they're cheating. So let's go back to our positions, completely stop, Let's get the knees a little bit wider, okay? This can't shift side to side. So I'm gonna hold on to the pelvis here. I want no movement whatsoever from here. Slowly bring that leg back. Good, stop right there for a second. Come forward. Good, switch sides. That was a lot better. Could that feel different? Okay, keep that TVA, keep the core nice and engaged. Now, if you want to progress that, and this might be a little bit hard for you, and that's okay, we're now going to imp implement opposite arm and opposite leg. So Sarah's going to go back into her contracted T TVA position. She's going to lift that right arm and left leg, and again, I'm going to stabilize, keep my hands here to remind her not to move anything, and she's starting to dip a little bit. Good, come forward. Find that hard? Okay, other side, and we can feel a little bit of that shift, and I can even see that spine now starting to turn a little bit. It's very hard for her to keep that position. So in this situation, would I recommend her do this? No. She would start week one with just the arms. Fatigue herself through that TV, how'd that feel? Harder than it looks? Harder than your regular crunches? <laughs> so this is now activating the core properly. So week one or two, we can just do the arms. Weeks three and four, we can just do the legs to build some of that endurance and strength in that TVA until she can properly do both arm, opposite arm and opposite leg. For your clients starting off, this is a fantastic core activation exercise that they should be incorporating in almost all their programs.